any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. <laughs> doesn't look so hot. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. of harmful compounds, and the body, in essence, begins to attack itself. It's called autotoxemia. If your BB's not performing to spec, drop by your private room and see if the incubator helps. <laughs>
ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked for the departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. Footwear condition poor. Replacement is advised. Thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Like we're on the chiral network. 
some of those materials you brought for our chiral printer. We can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west, and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work.
You there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try a 
adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. Uh, you should remember that BDs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then, you're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand, there is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BP are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and soul, and also my research as it happens.
taking a sample of your shower water in order to study the effects your bodily fluids might have on BT. You study other people with dooms? Everyone in bridges, myself and man. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, dry relic, dispensing. There, take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows, it may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam. Sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Hell, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. And I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo Network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading. 